Okay, on this one, this is a fairly complicated uh, exponential equation that we need to try to solve. And the very first thing that we need to try to do is to try to isolate this exponent right here, this exponential expression, if you will. Okay, in other words, uh, I'm trying to get this all on one side so that we can take the logarithm of both sides. So in order to get this all by itself, i got to get rid of this 2. The way I'm going to do that, it's a minus 2, so I'm going to add 2 to both sides. Okay, whenever I add 2 to both sides, now I'm just going to simplify it. Now that I've isolated this one, that's what I want, uh, and I move the 2 over. Now that I've done this, the very next step that I'm going to try to do is to take the logarithm of both sides. The reason why I'm trying to do that is get rid of this exponent. So I take the logarithm of both sides. Now you can take the natural logarithm of both sides or log base 10. I recommend uh, either one is okay. Um, log base 10 is one of the more used ones, so that's what I've got here. Okay, so I took the logarithm of both sides here using, and remember, whatever you do to one side, you have to do to both sides. And as long as you do it to both sides, you're not changing its value. So the, these two are equivalent values at this point. Now that I've got this, I need to take this exponent, and I want to put it out in front using our laws of exponents. I'm just going to move that guy way out in front. Uh, so that's what I've got here, negative 7b, um, and that's times log 15. Okay, so I just took that and I moved it out front. That's part of our expanding logarithms. Um, okay, so now that I've got that, uh, my goal is to get b all by itself. So in order to do that, I've got to get rid of this log 15, and this is negative 7b times log 15. So the opposite of multiplication is division. I'm going to divide both sides by log 15. Okay, so these, the log 15 over log 15, these will cancel out. So it reduces down to this, negative 7b. So I'm, I'm getting closer. I've almost got it all by itself. Problem is I've got this log 35 and this log uh, 15 that I've got to get rid of. So my next step here is I'm going to plug that into the calculator. I'm going to plug whatever this right side is here into the calculator. Now I can get rid of all those logs. Okay, so the way we're going to do that, let me clear this out, is, let's see, it was 35 and 15. So I go up here to my log button, log 35. Make sure that you close your parenthesis, otherwise it will give you the wrong answer, divided by log 15. Again, I close my parenthesis. I hit enter. It gives me this big long decimal. I highly recommend that you do not round until the very end. If you round too soon, you will obtain the wrong answer at the end. Okay, so don't round it yet. Okay, so now that we've got that, uh, here's what it equals. Now we want to try to solve it for b. In order to do that, this is negative 7 times b. So in order to solve it for b, I'm going to have to divide by negative 7. Now, if you take back out your calculator, see, I haven't rounded yet in my calculator. It's still where it was. I'm going to take this one, and I'm going to divide by negative 7. Okay, so I'm going to go divide by negative 7. Notice right here it says answer. What that's referring to, this a and s, that's the answer. That's my previous answer up here. So I take that previous answer, and I'm just dividing it by negative 7. I hit enter, and it gives me a big long decimal. And this one asked me to round it to the nearest hundredth. Okay, so that hundredth is two decimal places. So I take this one, I go negative 0.187. Let's see, if it's two decimal places, that means I'm going to need to round up to uh, negative, one, uh, negative 0.19. So now we just need to go over here and write that as our answer. Negative 0.19 will work. Now, on your homework, most of them ask you to round it to the nearest thousandth, which would be three decimals. So make sure that you pay attention to what it asks you to round it to.